Hey guys, it's Nemo from Nemo's Tech, and today we are checking the Remove Image Background website. So this website is actually found on remove.bg, that's it. Now, the idea is pretty simple, but it works really awesome. As far as I understood, it does work with AI, not fully sure. And you do have some more advanced features here. As you can see, you can basically sort of use Photoshop or something like that. There's an API for that, there's pricing, I guess, if you want like to bulk up all things or something like that. And you can log in, obviously. Now, I'm not going to show you any of those. We're just going to use the most simplest thing in the world that it has. Just select a photo and put at it and see what it does. Now, basically, this website should recognize people and products. And basically, it will remove the background of those photos. So you can see here the example. Uh, really cool. Let's just try it. So I prepared a few photos. Let's start with something from London. As you can see, uh, it was just uh, the guard standing next to its booth. And let's see. Yep. And you can see this is the original photo, and this is the cutout of the guard from the photo. And it looks really amazing, I think. I mean, seriously, it did it in seconds. I mean, I could do this in Photoshop probably, and it would take me much longer time, and I would struggle, and I would need to sit on it kind of a long time. And also, I'm not really sure that I would be that accurate as this thing. Now, obviously, if you look closely, it will probably, you'll see some, you know, defects or something like that. But that's not why we are here. So, let's try something else. So, that's just a random person that I took a photo of uh, in London. Uh, just from afar, it just looked kind of cool. She was just sitting uh, on something like that and just reading or looking at her phone. I don't remember. Yeah, it was her phone. As you can see, it cut her perfectly with her purse, which is amazing, I mean, seriously, it's a perfect cut, wow, uh, even the hair, if you look closely, and besides that, you can actually press edit, and actually do cool stuff, you can add uh, more or something to erase, if you want to erase, for example, her bag, so you can erase it as well, and things like that, well, not going to, you know, put too much things in it, uh, you can obviously zoom, you know what, let's try to zoom a little bit and you'll see how accurate it actually is. And yeah, it's very accurate, I think. And besides, you can actually add backgrounds. And as you can see, there are kind of cool backgrounds that you can add. Um, you can play around with it. I don't think I'm going to play around with it right now. But it's kind of cool, you can try to add her into some different background than where she was. Let's try that one. Yeah, so now she's like in the air, which isn't really what we meant, I guess, but hey, that's cool. Let's go ahead and continue. So, it should recognize objects, I'm not really sure, it's more like recognizing products. But we have some buildings here, let's see if uh, it can cut them out from the background. As you can see, the upload is very fast. Oh no, this image is currently not supported. No person found and not a product photo. So yeah, it didn't recognize the buildings as products or something like that. And it didn't cut the background from them. But, well, that kind of was obvious. But let's go ahead and see if it will recognize a car. Again, it's a cab from London that I took a photo of. <laughs> so yeah, all those photos pretty much are mine. And let's see what it does now. No, he didn't recognize the car as any of those as well, sadly. So, how about a squirrel? Now, I didn't try it yet with any pets or anything, so it will be interesting to see. I have a few pictures of squirrel because I'm not really sure if it will be good enough or not. It's a good picture, but it didn't do that. Let's try another one. It's the same squirrel just looking at the camera. Pretty sure it will not work, but you never know. Yeah, sadly it didn't. But the photo is awesome, I must say. Anyway, let's continue. You know what? We have some more squirrels, but no. Let's continue to something that looks more a little bit like a person. A Yoda, well, sort of toy that I have. 
Uh, I think you already saw it in some of my videos in the past. So yeah, first of all, turn it on the side. And no, it didn't recognize it as a person or as a product. Okay, that's kind of bummer. Okay, how about my own photo that I actually hold there a camera and my friend took that photo a few days ago. Actually, let's see if that will be... Yeah, great. Wow. Uh, yeah, it actually cut it pretty perfectly. I mean, if you'll actually, you know, let's... I have to show it to you. So here you can see between my finger there's nothing. It also cut everything except the leash from the Peak Design pack or however you call it. So wow, it did really perfectly. Seriously, even my hair, everything. Wow. Now that's really, really amazing, I think. Uh, you cannot scroll for some reason uh, down, but again, you can just save it and download it wherever you want and that's it. So, uh, let's continue to something. No, there's another photo of me, but I think we'll already try that. I found uh, an ac by accident my old Nexus One photo. Let's see how that will go. Okay, that actually worked interesting. So, if we look closely, it did cut the background and recognize the phone pretty good. I think there's some mistake here, but yeah, it's okay. And as you can see, there's just something here that we can remove and the part of the laptop. I was preparing cookies or something and I needed the recipe and I also needed a timer. And yeah, that's kind of one of the oldest timers that I used on my Nexus One. That's kind of cool to remember. So let's continue. Uh, that's a cool milkshake in a restaurant. Uh, kind of cool place, but no, it didn't recognize it as product, sadly. Um, yeah, let's continue. That photo will be interesting. I'll show you two versions of it. Now, basically, you'll see now a camera, but it looks a toy camera. You'll see soon why. So, as you can see, it did perfectly. Again, it did recognize it as product. And now, let's take another photo of that same camera but open and you'll understand what it is because that was an awesome product and yeah that's pretty much a USB flash drive so yeah that's awesome it's tiny and it's very very cool actually when I think of it I want to buy something like that I think I'll do that later anyways we have another final photo of me in the background of London and as you can see I'm pretty far and again it did it pretty perfectly except something that yeah okay let's see that okay let's zoom in and you'll see what it missed actually well as you can see there's another person behind me and basically it took it as well now you can fix it pretty much in Photoshop pretty easily but yeah I think it's already good enough yeah, it actually cut me from a long distance and it did a good job again. That's kind of awesome. So again, that's free to use. I mean, seriously, if you want to adjust your photo pretty quickly, just take out a person or something like that, that's really easy and free to use. So that's kind of cool stuff. Seriously, cool website. I really loved the idea and I highly recommend to try it out because the idea is actually really cool. And now, something new. So guys, there's nothing really new today, but I'm back from Prague and I did a pretty awesome video on my other channel just showing where I was with the GoPro, with that same GoPro actually. And the video is very long, but it shows really cool places. So there will be a card and also a link in the description where you can find that video and watch for yourself. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one!